Yo! What is up? I know it's been a long time since I hit y'all with a video. No, I haven't abandoned y'all. I've just been working on some things, you know, brainstorming, putting some ideas together. And man, I got some good news for y'all. Okay. I am starting a new channel. I will be dropping a video this week on there and it's gonna be pure comedy. It's gonna be IRL stuff. And once I get to maybe a thousand people to hit that support button, not the, not the sub button, now we, I like support, y'all, cause y'all support the grind and that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? But look, link is in the description. Y'all go show some love to that second channel. I'm dropping a video soon. And uh, we're going we gonna to rock it out like that. I'm not going to talk too much about it, okay? Anyway, um, I want to say this. I know I haven't dropped a video, but y'all have been still showing me so much love and support. I mean, the, the channel is now at 1,500 plus supporters, okay? Supporters. It's, we have 1,500 plus. I mean... For someone who is not necessarily grinding YouTube, that's amazing. You know, and even if I was grinding YouTube, I'm very, very thankful for the 1500 of y'all. So shout out to y'all. Y'all the real MVPs. Um, today, I want to talk about how you're going to get MT to get any cards you want in the auction house. That That's that's what we're going to do. There is no, no glitch here. You know, I'm just going to try to help you guys understand how to work the auction house and how to make the most MT and get any cards you want without investing a dime without investing a dime into my team uh, but before before that I got one more thing I want to say um, to all the the haters okay this is going to be the first and last time I address y'all because I want to let y'all know all right look Keep your negative comments to yourself because you're just wasting your time. I'm just going to delete it and block you from the channel. That's it. I'm not gonna, gonna do anything else. I'm no longer entertaining any, any of the hate. Go ahead, hit the dislike button. If it makes you feel good about yourself, like you did something of value for the day by hitting the dislike button on someone's channel and move on. Because at the end of the day, you hitting that dislike button still does give me some sort of support, whether you believe it or not. Same thing with your negative comments. It's still traffic and analytics that will help me get more ads. So you guys are not hurting me. In fact, you are helping me. You just think that it's doing something. But anyway, like I said, keep the comments to yourself or you will be blocked. So yeah, let's talk about this MT. Um, there's very, very easy and numerous ways to MT, you know, make MT. More so, I want to talk about uh, the auction house. But you know, some of the various ways to make MT with no problem uh, is probably number one: triple threat online. The reason why I say triple threat online is because you will get really good rewards like the rewards from triple threat online are amazing you can get diamond contracts you can get diamond shoes and if you sell any of those uh you know diamond contracts or diamond shoes you could easily make 100k mt you know and you don't have to win all of your triple threat online games to get an opportunity to get that stuff so if you play triple threat for you know a few hours you will come up on those diamond contracts and those diamond shoes so very good way to make mt and besides the, the other thing is that you're going to be able to pick up badges like limitless range is a badge that sells for over 4k mt five, even 5k over 5k mt on a good day so that's another another thing about the uh, triple threat online but yeah um another thing about you know as you can see, I, I worked the auction house and I got tons of sales. And these are all cards that I bought from the auction house for lesser than what I sold them for, obviously. Uh, you know, another thing about working the, the auction house is that if you do open packs, okay, and let's say a new pack comes out, a new, a new moments card, or in this case, a, a signature limited card comes out. I opened and got 
uh, Signature Limited the day it came out. Actually, with, within the first couple of hours, I sold it the next day for 600 KMT. All I did was slap a uh, diamond shoe on it that I didn't care about. Sold it for 600K. Um, as you can see at the time we're looking, I can probably buy that car for 400K or less if I wanted it. And I would have a profit and still have the car. You know, but in this case, I'm not going to buy it again. But if, if you do get uh, the new card, uh, you know, pink diamond card, the, the best card that's available when it just comes out, it's always a good idea to sell it the next day. Not as soon as it comes out, sell it the next day. Because uh, prices dip when the market is uh, flooded. And the market gets flooded when new packs come out. So wait the next day and, you know, slap something on it if, if you have it and, and move on. Um, so, yeah. So what we're looking at here uh, is if you're just getting started, uh, this does apply to you. If you already have the auction house, obviously this doesn't apply to you. You can skip this part. But if you're just getting started, you need the auction house. And in order to get the auction house, you need to do five things. You need to play a domination game and you know get a good score uh, to get the three stars. You need to win a triple threat game against the computer. And also, um, you need to play a triple threat online game against the person. You don't have to win, you just have to play it. And the same thing with an unlimited game, which is a full uh, team game. Uh, so you need to just complete that. And you need to do a weekly challenge. Just do the first week uh, challenge. It's the quickest and the easiest out of all of them. And you'll be on your way to having the auction house open and you'll be able to start doing this. Um, you will obviously need some MT to invest in cards. You know, that's that's an obvious thing. Uh, so play Triple Threat, play Domination, play play whatever it is so you can start. And, uh, you know, my suggestion is have at least 50K MT. Um, you don't need to have 50K MT, but if you have 50K MT, you can buy more cards and thus you can make more MT fast. Okay? You can easily double it fast. If, you know with 50k MT and you can buy the hottest cards okay so the way that I like to search for cards um, I can't do it anymore because I completed everything but obviously if, if you don't have every card completed you can just go to my team collection go to current uh, 2019 NBA and you can just find the cards by going over the blank uh, space and it'll show the name but it won't show the card and it'll send you directly to the auction house to find the card. Now, what I like to focus on is the, the hot cards. Now, the hottest cards right now um, are this Cameron Payne, uh, Brad Wanamaker, who is from the Celtics, and uh, TJ Leaf, who is from the Pacers. Those are the three hottest cards right now that I've been selling. And, okay. So anyway, uh, Cameron Payne, for example, as you can see, there's only three cards available at the time that you know I was recording this there's only three available none of them at buy it now prices which means you can help dictate the market if you put up your own buy it now let's say you put it up for 10k you can dictate the market someone might buy your 10k so they don't have to wait so they'll give you 10k MT and when it comes to Cameron Payne I bought a Cameron Payne for 3k MT I bought a Cameron Payne for 5k MT and I know I can sell Cameron Payne easily on a good day for over 10k MT so that's something to consider. Um, so yeah, drive the market if you can. Um, so if there's no buy it now, that's an open opportunity for you to drive the market and create the price for the market. Uh, as, as you've seen with the Brad Wanamaker, only four cards, you know, four cards really scarce. Someone put one up at 11K and then another person just put it up less to see if they can sell the card faster than them. The one that's, both of them actually ended up selling by the way. So still big fat w but yeah you look at the cards um that are going for you know high amounts and see if you can buy them somewhere less me personally i like to at least make 1500 mt um you know in some cases you will be able to like on on the camera to paint get a higher profit margin uh you know where you can make three four thousand more mt than what you paid for them or even double or even higher than that um, if the timing is right so 
that's something to consider so this is what i suggest because obviously you don't just want to focus on like the hottest cards uh what you also want to do is uh make a list about 10 to 15 cards where you know you could make a thousand mt from each sale and you know it's not going to take a whole lot of time to sell them because you're going to sell them for less than what the lowest buy it now price is at the time that you're looking to sell you know for example tj leaf okay tj leaf i sold two tj leafs uh, for about 7k mt actually one i sold for 7k mt the other one i sold for 6750 at the time the lowest price was 8k mt okay 8k mt was the lowest buy it now price that's another thing very important sell all your cards at buy it now prices okay so people don't want to wait if they can say if they think they can save 500 or a thousand mt by buying it now anyway instead of bidding with people they'll do it okay they will do it so keep keep that in mind but i only spent maybe like 7k total for both of those tj leaf cards and i made a ton of mt profit so you know that that's the, the the other thing is understand the market when you get ready to sell these uh, uh, like if you don't want to just hold on to them and wait for uh, the perfect time and you want to sell them like almost immediately that's the way to do it another thing to keep your your mind focused on and make sure is that you sell at peak hours peak hours are from 12 to 8 okay eastern standard time and at least four three to four days after new packs come out okay so when i say new packs i mean like the signature series or the anniversary not the throwback uh packs though those packs everyone doesn't open those packs most people wait for the anniversary signature series or the new moments cards that's when people open packs the most is from those those kind of cards not the throwbacks everyone doesn't do that Personally, I don't do throwbacks, so I could tell you that you'll never catch me doing it. So when those packs are done, generally you can sell, you know, you can even sell contracts for for more. You know, like as I'll give you an example. When new packs come out like the signature series, right? Everyone is selling contracts at that time. Okay, everyone is selling contracts at that time, but three or four days after, there's only like maybe 10 contracts up for sale, which is the perfect time to sell contracts. I mean, you can sell bronze con contracts for 500 MT each. So do not quick sell your contracts. That, that, that's another thing. Do not quick sell your contracts. If you have 20 contracts and you don't have any space, this is how you do it. You send a stack a 20 stack to the auction house okay you send it to the auction house you overprice it and then obviously it will go into your your reserves your your pending items okay it'll go there as unsold and it will stay there and that's how you start stacking all the 20 packs of contracts so if you didn't know that that's how you do it so go to uh you know my team collection go to the contracts and you can send the entire stack to the auction house and you know that that's the way you can start stacking it because you don't want to quick sell any contracts you just don't okay you just don't so that that's pretty much uh you know it um if you guys have any questions again i do stream on twitch link somewhere right here in the video and also link in the description uh but yeah i'll be more than happy to answer your questions if you come through to the stream um obviously i'll try to answer as many questions as i can here on youtube but as you know i i don't come here too often i will probably start being here a little more especially to work on my second channel again i definitely appreciate it if you guys go check that out it's going to be very funny if you like to laugh and you like irl stuff like uh i'm, I'm not going to say too much y'all y'all just got to go check it out okay and then y'all know what will y'all know what's up all right all right y'all will know what, what is up but anyway like i said i'll be more than happy to answer questions if you want a part two to this with like different explanations and, and different stuff um that i can cover um if i have enough questions 
I'll do a, a second video to this, but this is pretty much the same. I only work silver cards. Obviously this would work for other cards like heat checks and stuff like that, but I only work silver cards. That's where I have the most success at, you know, the most immediate success. So yeah, other than that, y'all, I know I said that like 15 times. <laughs> y'all have a beautiful day and I'll catch you on the next one.